Well, howdy everybody on this video. I'm gonna show you how to cook up some rabbits. You know, I, I went up, got a, just did a product review on the Seneca uh, Eagle Claw 25 caliber PCP air rifle and I went out and I smoked a couple of cottontail rabbits right here. And on this video, I'm gonna show you what I do with them as far as cooking them. Before we get to that, I wanna ask you to make sure to subscribe to the channel. Next up, we're gonna show you how to get these things into the frying pan on the plate and I think you're gonna like it. All right, a lot of people don't realize that rabbit are really good to eat, especially cottontail like this. So one of the things I want to do is I want to show you how I cook it. I'm going to do that right now. But I want to also tell you that if you're going to eat rabbits, one thing that I was told by my grandfather and my father and by all the old timers, wait until you've had the first freeze. And the reason why is because if there's sick rabbits out there, they're going to die from the freeze. So we've had a good hard freeze. We've got a couple of rabbits. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them. Okay, here's a rabbit right here. I wound up uh, cut it up, uh, quartered it up, took the back straps out of it, and I soaked it in cream. And I put it in the refrigerator overnight. I think a flour right here, my crock pot. I'm going to use. I'm going to start over here on top of the cutting board. I've got some potatoes here. I've got some onions cut up here, and I've got some jalapenos. I love jalapenos. Okay, We've got two cans of soup. Okay, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. That's just what I like, and one of my favorite spices of all time. Whether you're eating fried fish, fried chicken, or fried rabbit, doesn't matter. And then I've got rice over here, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is on the stove, I've already got the oil heated up. I've got a big cast iron skillet and we're going to pan fry the rabbit. And once we pan fry the rabbit, I'll show you how to take it from that. Mix all these ingredients together, put it in the crock pot and we're fixing to have a great meal. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take out the quarters. Take a look at that. It almost looks like a chicken thigh, doesn't it? And we're gonna drop it in the flour. Once I have it all battered up like this, I'm gonna take it and put it aside to where I have all of it done at the same time. You may be wondering about spice. When do you put the spice on? I'll be honest with you, I mean, I've wound up, I've put spice on before I actually fry it up, but I can't taste it that much. In other words, I think that a lot of it cooks off or falls off when you're cooking it. So it's for that reason, I wind up just waiting. I mean, I wait until after I pull it out, after it's fresh and still moist out of the oil and then I'll spice it up really good then. So all I'm gonna do is I'm, I wanna put them all in that frying pan, in at the same time and out at the same time. Just wanna make sure that the oil is hot enough that it will actually brown the outside of the rabbit. It's good to go. All right, so what I got here, got some paper towels laid out on a cookie sheet. Then we, I'll mix up my other ingredients in the crock pot while this is actually cooling off. All right, I want to point something out. If you take a look at the meat, you'll see it's starting to actually sink a little bit. And there's blood coming out. That means the inside temperature, that means it's getting hot. That's what we want. Little pieces, I don't want to overcook them. All I want to do is brown this stuff. All right, so the rabbit's going. What we're going to do is we're going to take our soup and Put it in the crock pot. You know, so what I wind up doing is taking the soup. If you take a look down in there, you'll see the two different kinds of soup. So I'm just gonna pour some water in there with it, kind of thin it down. And here we've got the potatoes. You know, I've just rinsed off small potatoes and we're gonna lay them in there. We're gonna take our onion, lay it in there like that. And if you don't like onion, don't put onion in. You know, some people can put carrots in it. It's almost like making a stew. Okay, I like jalapenos, so put some jalapenos in there. And we're gonna stir it all up, and now we're gonna wait for the rabbit to get done. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna season it up. We're gonna put it in the crock pot. I'm gonna call it, I'm just gonna lay it in here like this. And what we'll wind up doing is letting this sit for at least six hours. But what'll happen is that the bones, you can just pull the bones right out. And this is enough right here to feed a whole bunch of people. All right, so it's been six hours. What we're gonna do, we're gonna show you some rabbit. Okay, come in here and grab a piece of it. Ooh, look at that running gear right there. Grab some smaller pieces. A little jalapeno right there. Ooh, baby. Potato on there. Look at that right there. All right, let's taste it, see what we have. Oh, that meat just falls off the bone. Look at that. You just think the other day that was hopping around the field. That's the way you cook rabbit. Mm. 
All right, everybody, got any questions, comments? You know exactly what to do if you're watching online. Post them down below. We'll get back with you. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure and do so. My name is Keith Warren, and I'll catch you next time. Mm-hmm.